Apple has expressed interest in NBA streaming rights as they continue to try to get into services business, continue to try to get into those monthly subscriptions from you. And how do you do that? Well, you got to keep pitching your programming. And they teamed up in the past with the MLB, as you know, famously, last season. Yeah, the halftime show was um, by Apple Music. Sponsored. Was it? Yeah. But I did people like the halftime show or they didn't like the halftime show? Um, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know the sentiment for that. Okay. I thought it was great. Oh, you, you were big on the halftime Rihanna show. Rihanna being like just that one person and there's no other... So Singers. you're a you're a big Rihanna then? I didn't know this. <laughs> a big Rihanna? <laughs> you must be. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was a great. Event. Were were you were you reminded of just how many hits she had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple of hits in there. Missed. Uh, she didn't have pawn the replay. <laughs> oh, you, oh, so you were looking for something specific over there? That's old. That's uh, really old. Though. That was like her first main hit. Though. That is really old though. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this is one way you do it. You do it with sports because people sure. notice when their sports move around. Although I have to admit, because I know a lot of baseball fans, yeah. when those games were on Apple TV, I got some complaints directed at me as if I was responsible <laughs> because like, I'm the tech guy. To be like, what? Like, why? What's got to be like that, though? How do I find it? Where do I get it? You know, I just want to put on my channel wherever it normally is. I'd be like, hey, man, stop playing. I, I had nothing to do with it. And. Their production was pretty good. I thought their production, yeah. but but people also complained about their broadcasters. Like they, because oh, okay, yeah. you get used to your voices yeah, and your analysts. They'd be like, these people are clueless. Or I didn't watch enough of it to be able to give you the feedback on that. But a lot of that has to do with what just what you happen to be used to, mm. and mm. so you get a little bit of friction with that. But NBA, that's another big brand, and and it certainly gets people's attention when you get some rights to this. Apple has expressed interest in acquiring an NBA streaming package, according to a new report from CNBC. Apple is among other interested parties that include Amazon and NBC Sports, with NBC Universal particularly interested in reacquiring NBA games. Well, they've got that going on already. NBC Universal is aiming for a deal that would allow it to air playoff games on the NBC network with some regular season games exclusive to the Peacock streaming service. <laughs> Now it's all segmented. Yeah, it's very muddy. Oh, it's all fragmented. Mm -hmm. I think that's a better, that's the one I yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah. Fragmented. Where's my game? T oh, honey, where's my game tonight? <laughs> Isn't it on that peacock thing? I believe they moved it to the, I, 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 where's my peacock? You're just trying to watch the game, Will. That's me? Oh, boy. No, I'm just saying anybody, you know, they're just trying to watch the game. And a lot yeah. of people, they don't want to the complexity of 17 different services. Sure, sure. And then all of a sudden, uh, you, it, YouTube has four games and Amazon yeah, has seven exclusives. and Apple has 12. It doesn't really work that well for sports because yeah. that's a real habit thing. And it's you imagine if this show will all, all of a sudden on a Wednesday, we're on Peacock only. And then Thursday, we come back over here. Yeah. And then Friday it's Hulu and uh -huh. Saturday it's Apple TV Plus. Oh boy. Yeah, that's confusing. But anyway, like you know, good luck.